proceedings here at Hollywood Beds, Kenilworth. Gates go back. They often racing. Saloon Girl and towards the back end Sky Diamond were a little bit slow to go. On the other hand, it is World Craft who got away well with Ship and Dani, who shows any amount of pace. And they go Ship and Dani just ahead of World Craft in second. Right there in third is Symphony in White. Kind of wonderful. has got the orange sleeves and the orange cap. On the inside is Wings of Josephine. Diamond Bombers only two lengths off the leader. Further back in running is Montpetit. Cherie just lost touch. Five lengths off them. Saloon Girl and Sky Diamonds at the back end but in front of Ship and Dani goes a length clear with Symphony in white who's right there Montpetit Cherie's on the inside kind of wonderful is running a cracker towards the outside but now it's Symphony in white who puts her best foot forward and goes a length and a half clear kind of wonderful chasing in second but Symphony in white looking for company gone two lengths clear and that's that good win back to best kind of wonderful's run second third maybe Montpetit Cherie and then behind them Willcraft so we'll wait for that head on. There was lots of money and talk around Ship and Dani, who showed quite a bit of toe today, was up there, but ultimately couldn't live with the experience of Symphony in White and kind of wonderful. You can see these two horses got into a bit of an argy bargy. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson. Well done to Aldo Dumer and to the Drakenstein Stud Farm, to Mrs. Rupert, to Kevin Somerville and to Gavin Pickford as well. Uh, she was bred by the Drakenstein stud farm as well, so they'll be very happy with the way this daughter of Water Winter has opened up proceedings today. She's now a two-time winner from three starts. Bipod starts in race number two. Pets uh, you've got the runner-up jockey here, Sean Veal, with me on Kind of Wonderful. Thousand just a bit too sharp? Yeah, you know, and also I dropped my rein and held her right across me. We hung right across to the outside, basically. So she's still learning, you know. She'll improve a lot. I know they rate the filly would beat us, but over six foot long, I can just do pace work. Like she did everything right for me. She just drink off each other fully. Nice one. Nice, uh, nice filly. Well, I'm going to talk to Aldo, take this opportunity to chat to him. Um, nice win. How green was she? She's very, it was very surprising because she's a confident filly. She does most things right. And uh, I told Candice, if we drop back to a five, I think she'll enjoy it because she can use a natural pace and she'll kick off that. And wasn't sure where to place her, but I did tell Candice, I do think she'll prob probably just be a little better than anything she should be taking on right now just because of the ability she shows but I didn't expect it to be that green she was hanging she was running around dropped a bit picked it up so as bad as that is it's positive because she's going to learn from that and she's going to just get a bit better so I think Candace has got some choices to make now whether we go up country or we just keep her here and wait to mature for summer season she's got all the tools she needs to become a really good filly so it just depends how we nurse her from here in the space of 71 days that she feel like she came on a lot from her last run the feature yeah, tons. She's come on plenty. I think last time she was unfortunate. She should have uh, run right next to Little Ballerina, which kind of holds the form of the two-year-old country around at the moment. And um, I think that's a nice line to draw in the sand to see where we are. And uh, yeah, um, whether we're going to take up country, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is we've got a really smart filly in our hands, and that form has worked out quite nicely. So very nice that, they, that she's continued to strengthen that, that line. So um, nice filly, and I think that Little Ballerina formula just keeps strengthening. So, uh, to Candice Drakenstein, we have a lot of faith in this filly. Miss Rupert, thanks so much, and uh, we'll certainly see more of her. And quickly, who's your next best? They're your formal rides. What a fortune, Maniki Nico, English Mistress and Gold Poker game. All competitive. Could be a good day. Could be a day where they're all knocking on the door. Yeah, uh, Maniki is taking on two-year-olds. It's a little unknown where we are with, in that, that regard, but if he produces his last ride, I think he's going to be um, right there in the shake-up. Uh, he's a tricky horse because he doesn't always move well, but... Uh, Taking on those two yields, he's got the experience. He's going to enjoy the five for a long, and uh, the rest will be knocking on the door. Thanks, Alder. Pleasure. Well done, Alder. I'm out on the board. First up here at Hollywood Beds Kenworth. Let's go to the front with Vicky Candice and the Drakenstein team. Thank you very much, Alice. It was indeed a very impressive win, and interesting to hear that uh, Alder's comments about Symphony and White. Candice, well done for the win. Thank you. I think it's, I would think, lovely to see you a little bit green because you still have a lot more to work with. Yeah, I think maybe because she's had quite a gap between her first two runs. I mean, she wasn't green at all first time out when she ran. So I'm surprised she was actually green today. But, you know, then you always know you've got something to work with and, and that she will come on from that. Vicky, I've always rated her as a, as a young filly when she came in. She's always shown us a lot at home, which is why I ran her in the, in the nursery in her second start. I thought... I might have been overfacing a little bit and she suffered quite a bit, bit of interference in that race. So I think she should have finished a lot closer than she did and uh, then we just gave her a little bit of time after that and uh, she's, she's come on very nicely from that. Her work at home has been exceptionally good and as I say, and Aldo said to you as well, that um, I think she's very smart and she's got a very bright future ahead of her. Obviously the question is now whether I take her up to Scottsville or not, so we'll decide that in the next week or so. Um, but lovely win and just well done to the Drakenstein team. Um, lovely filly and I'm sure they'll get a lot of fun out of her and hopefully we can add her to their stud book. Candice, well done. Thank you.
Thanks to Kevin Somerville representing Drakenstein State and uh, lovely to see this filly win in this manner today, Kevin. Oh, very much so, uh, Vicky. Yeah, I think the filly was quite unlucky in her last start in the nursery. It was a very hot race and she just sort of got caught um, a little bit in between horses and then got a little bit of a bump, I think, numerous times. So you sort of had to put a line through that. But her first run was very good and it's nice to see her. She's come on a lot. So um, obviously congratulations to Gaynor and then to Candice and her, and her team and then Aldo for his lovely ride. Kevin, Drakenstein stud, I see that there's an increase in the in the stallions, so any news about that? Yeah, obviously Charles has gone to stud, so, um, you know, he's he's very, very exciting. And, um, yeah, we've imported a horse called The Case of You as a champion sprinter in Ireland. Um, very excited by him. He won on uh, heavy ground and also on firm ground. Um, he should add a lot of speed to, to the stallion ranks. And then also Sharp Frank is a beautifully bred uh, son of Frankel. I think the first son of Frankel to come to stud. So very exciting times. Indeed, all the best. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Kevin representing uh, Drakenstein Stud. Well done to Mrs. Rupert for breeding and owning Symphony in White. And also exciting news coming out of the uh, Drakenstein Stud stallion ranks. Most certainly an increase in uh, three new new stallions on the ground. So the future's looking very bright. But uh, that's it, number nine, Symphony in White, you win in race one.